What really sparked those rumors that Kate Middleton was barely clinging to life in a coma? And more importantly, was there any truth to them? Rumors started swirling almost immediately when Kensington Palace first announced that Catherine, Princess of Wales, was undergoing abdominal surgery in mid-January 2024. It was the vague wording paired with the sudden nature of the news that got royal watchers talking. The announcement indicated that Kate did not wish to disclose the details surrounding the experience and also acknowledged that there would be public curiosity and concern about Kate's lengthy recuperation period. And so there has been. The princess is expected to refrain from public appearances until after Easter, and the palace has declined to provide any additional info since she was discharged from the hospital on January 29th. In this void of public updates, theories about Kate's health crisis have run wild. This is much more concerning in that it must have been something very serious. One of the biggest rumors that emerged was that Kate needed to be placed in an induced coma following complications during the surgery. The allegation originated with Spanish TV host Concha Calleja. Speaking on Fiesta, Calleja asserted that, although Kate's operation was successful, some unexpected complications occurred afterwards. The Times translated her claims, which said in part, the decision was to put her in an induced coma. They had to intubate her. There were serious complications that they didn't expect because the operation operation went well, but the post-operative period didn't go so well. Calleja went on to claim that Kate would need extensive equipment and personnel to care for her while she recovered at home. Her wording indicated that the situation was life or death, and the decision to induce a coma was a drastic attempt to save her life. She said the princess's life was in great danger after the operation, after speaking to an aide from the royal household. Calleja further claimed that Kate had actually gone to the hospital on December 28th, not January 16th, as the Kensington Palace Instagram post indicated. It's a spicy rumor for sure, and one that Kensington Palace immediately and explicitly quashed. A source didn't mince words when they told the Times, it's total nonsense. No attempt was made by that journalist to fact-check anything that she said with anyone in the household. It's fundamentally totally made up. And I'll use polite English here, it's absolutely Absolutely not the case. However, Calleja hasn't been content to let the matter get swept under the rug. After the palace said that, the journalist reiterated her assertions on Fiesta, saying, I still stand by everything I've said despite the regrets. I have touched nerves, and nerve always hurts, and that is what has happened. There has not been a single statement denying this, not a single one. I trust my source. An induced coma and a life-threatening intervention makes for some juicy drama, but the official story has been much less grim. On January 29th, Kensington Palace reported that Kate was making positive strides and convalescing at home. Her departure from the hospital was in line with the stay predicted in the palace's initial statement on January 17th. While Kate's continued absence from the public eye remains a concern for royal watchers, it appears that she is making progress. A friend informed the Daily Mail on February 9th that Kate's recovery was going well. At the time, the Wales family was about to make a trip to their country estate, Anmer Hall, while their three children had a vacation from school. The source said, She was looking forward to a change of scene and will be able to take it easy. Unfortunately, taking a step back from your regular routine can be a challenge in and of itself. On February 23rd, In Touch Weekly reported that the road to recovery was turning out to be longer than expected. A palace source said, She's always been in good health and very athletic, so not being able to jump out of bed and move around has been hard on her. While Prince William has continued to make appearances in the weeks after the surgery, the lengthy healing process is clearly starting to take its toll on Kate. The same source told In Touch, On one hand, it's been nice to rest, but having to sit by and watch others do her work has been frustrating. 